Warning! Tube amplifiers have lethal voltages inside them. Please do not attempt to build, test, or repair these without understanding and following all safety protocols. Hey y'all! While we're waiting on some parts to come here for our 47 amp, I decided I'm going to go ahead and jump into another quick preamp project. From watching the views on my channel, clearly y'all love preamps. So this is one I've been wanting to build and it's like we keep getting simpler and simpler projects for the channel. This one is as simple as a two project is probably going to get. It's on a website listed as the 4S Universal Preamp. What's really cool about it is that you can use a multitude of different tubes in the driver section of this. And you can put a 12AX7, a 12AT7, a 12AY7. There's a whole list of them, which we'll go over after we get the preamp built. And it doesn't have a cathode follower. It just uses a triode. And the cathode follower is more useful when you have a really long leads from your preamp to your amplifier. And in my use, they're never more than not even a foot long. And I'm not sure why anyone would have their preamp that far away from the amplifier where it would need a cathode follower to drive the long interconnects. But we're not doing that. We're just using a simple triode preamp where we can really hear what it sounds like. I've got all the parts here to do it. The only thing I really had to go out and buy was this power transformer and this is a 250k volume control. One of the neat things that I'm interested to see how this works is they're putting the volume control after the tube on the output. So theoretically it should reduce the hiss or any noise you get from the tube because normally the full gain of the tube is just going straight to the output. And on this, not only are you regulating the amount of music coming out of the preamp, you're regulating the amount of tube noise that goes with it. And so it should make for a cleaner sounding output. It might actually be an interesting thing to try on an integrated amplifier to put the volume control between the stages. Something I've never even considered before. So this will be really fun to try. I'm going to use some Mundorf aluminum oil caps. I've got some Audio Note cathode bypass caps. We may also try LED bias, but we're going to start out with it as it's published. And here's the preamp section. And as you can see, only a handful of parts. Really short audio path. Just comes in, goes to the tube, goes to the output. And here's the power supply. It's equally simple. Has one choke, two capacitors. It's got one bleeder resistor. And then we're going to create a virtual center tap for the heaters on the tubes. So and we'll go over how all that works. So you can see it's very low parts count. Actually, we're not going to use those either. So we got these two caps, these two caps, this little pile of resistors here, a couple tube sockets, some RCA jacks, coupling caps. I'm probably going to use this little indicator. Here's the choke and a little power switch. And I'll go over the layout real quick, how I think I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to have the power transformer here in this back corner. And we're going to put the power switch on this side back here, back here to keep all the AC in the back. I'm going to put the rectifier tube right here next to it. I'm going to mount the choke somewhere, probably on the side or maybe in the back. I don't, I'm not real sure yet, but it's going to be, we're going to have all the power supply stuff in the back. That way, if we do have some hum that we want to shield off, I've got some MU metal and I can build a little bulkhead to shield the AC from the signal path. Hopefully we won't need to. 
plan on putting the volume control here on this side. I'm going to put the tube up here in this corner in the front. I'm going to put the output jacks on the top right behind this volume control. And then I'm going to put the input jacks over here on the side. At least that's the way I'm thinking I'm going to lay it out. May, may move some things around when I get to doing the fab work on it. That said, I am going to do the chassis fab work off camera. So if you want to see how I do chassis work, you can look at the EL84 amp, the little spud amp that I just did. You can look at the 6BM8 amp. Both of those are very similar to this. And not going to waste a lot of video time on the channel and editing, doing the fab work on camera. Plus, honestly, I want to just have some fun building this thing, not being on camera and fighting, trying to talk through the whole thing. I just want to get this done. So I'm going to knock out the fab work on the chassis tomorrow. And then I am going to show you how I lay out the wiring and how the components are placed inside. So if you want to duplicate this little thing and... I want to get this done pretty quickly because we've got the 47 amp parts coming and I don't want to delay that project. But I think I can slip this one in in between the start of that and the parts getting here. So I'm going to jump into this. Like I said, I think this is going to be a fun project that a lot of you are going to enjoy. And I want to compare it to some of these other preamps that we did that big shootout on. And I'm hoping that this thing will sound like that 6SN7 one did. And if it does, or it's close to it, that's a win. The other thing we may do is I may build an octal version of this. And while we may use the 9-pin rectifier tube, set it up with a 6SN7 type tube in the front, and then we could use a 6SN7, use a 6SL7, you know, get some different octal tubes that will interchange and then we could compare what 9-pin versus 8-pin tubes sound like. So that may be a fun little thing to test out too. So anyway, hope you all will enjoy this quick build. Like I said, should be a short, I keep saying that, it should be a really short video series. Again, I'm going to do all the fab work off camera, show you what I did though, and then We'll jump into wiring up the inside of it, and you'll see how simple and quick it is to build a little tube preamp and have some fun with this. So, hope you're enjoying the channel. If you are, please subscribe, please like the video, and we'll see you soon for more preamp fun. Have a great day.